Hey everybody, are you stuck every single year with your resolutions? I mean, how come you, you don't ever reach them? Well, listen, today I'm going to share with you a very simple approach to actually reaching your goals in 2019. And that's coming up next. All right, all right. So we are going to cover today all about reaching goals. And yes, everybody this week is planning ahead and thinking and dreaming about how to actually reach their goals. But let's be honest, all right? If you are thinking that you're gonna reach your goal in just one month, two months, 12 months, look, stop kidding yourself. You know why? Look, you're dreaming, all right? If you don't have some plan written down, and if you haven't done simple things, like I'm gonna show you today, reverse engineer, have a specific deadline, know exactly when to finish and start your other goal, take, it, take one goal at a time. Look, all these little things are very important. So stop the New Year's resolution stuff and I'm going to show you how to actually, in a simple way, reach your goals. Okay. This year, absolutely. You can do it. So here we go. Okay. So here are the simple goal setting tips that I have for you, for you reaching your goals in 2019. Okay. So 2019 is definitely going to be your year. And the way that you're going to want to reach your goals is like this. Right, first of all, you know how 2019, that's basically 12 months, okay? That is not what you want to be thinking. As a matter of fact, you don't even want to be thinking simple goal setting tips for 2019, although even that's my title. Don't look at the 2019 and don't look at a year. Don't look at 12 months, all right? The mistake that a lot of people make is that they start looking at 2019 and they think, oh, it's 2019. So, you know, I have 12 whole months to reach it, right? They have 12 whole months to reach their goals. But what happens? Huh? Your mind, your brain, you start thinking, well, I've got time. Time is on my side. You know, January comes, Oh yeah, you know, I, uh, maybe I'll start in February. February comes Valentine's day. Well, you know, Valentine's day is coming. March comes and whatever else is coming then. And, and before you know it, summer is here. And remember again, because you're thinking, you're thinking that you have 12 months, your brain does not get to work. It doesn't activate the power inside of you to reach your goals. So how do you do this? How do you actually um, create basically uh, and, and create simple goal settings to, to reach them? Okay, let me show you how simple they are. Let me erase all this. I should, uh, should have erased this like all at once. But anyway, here we go. How do you do it? Okay, first of all, I want you to think of 90 days, 90 days. That is your goal setting time frame. Okay. This is the time that you have to reach your goals, 90 days. What does that translate to in months? Well, three months. Now, here's what you also want to do. When you think 90 days, you only want to pick one pick one goal, one goal that you want to achieve in 90 days, just one. Okay. Number one, just one. Why one? Our brain again, does not like to have multiple things. As a matter of fact, the fact is that no one can multitask really it's, it's impossible to multitask because you'll do one thing and you'll, you'll do maybe 80% of your time on it. And then you still have to come back and put 20% somewhere else. If you have two things going at one time, 
right? You can never put 100% of your time and effort into two or three things at one time, all right? So focus on one thing. Pick only one thing. Do it in 90 days. And this is how you break it down. Uh, let's say now that you know it's three months and it's 90 days, about, this is about how many weeks do you think? So you're looking at about four weeks in a month, about, right? So average. So four weeks in one month, right? So let's say you pick January or whenever you start, basically. Week number one, week number two, week number three, and down here, week number four. Okay. Now, how do you go about reaching your goal? What you do is, now that you know you have this one thing to reach in 90 days, for each week, you want to write down what can you do. I call them action tasks. What can you do that week to get closer to your one goal? Okay? What can you do this one week? And that, friends, is this is where you now write down, this is where you write down your actions to take action tasks to take in that week you see that right and you do the same thing for the second week same thing okay in the third week and the fourth week and the fifth week and sixth week and so on all right that is how you reverse engineer and you break down your goals to reach them so i bet you're asking this question well, I have more than one goal. <laughs> of course you do. Of course you do. Okay. Everyone does. But let me assure you that when you pick one goal at a time and you complete it, or you have a time frame of completing this goal and reaching this goal in 90 days, you will have a very high, higher chance of reaching this goal even before your 90 days is up. It's, it's amazing. It's just an amazing process to break things down this way. Okay. So there you have it. That's my, my tip for you. That's my goal setting tips. So let me kind of, let's go ahead and do, um, uh, let me see here. Let me, let me kind of make it a little bit nicer for you so you can see. Okay. All right. So we talked about 90 days. That's your time frame. Okay, so here we go. All right, number one, number one tip, choose 90 days. Number two tip, choose one goal. Okay, just one. Number three, break it down. Break it into, into weekly action tasks and that's it cool right that was simple is that simple can you do that can you commit to doing that and and let me know let me know if you actually not only committed to do it but you were able to reach them see because if you reach your goals even before your 90 days is up you can immediately start another goal and here is what's going to happen most of us have three, four, maybe five goals. Let's say that this year, 2019, you choose 90 days, 90 days sections of the year and you complete, how many, how many can you complete? Well, you can possibly complete even with break, even with taking breaks, three to four goals. You really could. It's a habit though. You're going to get into the habit of breaking down your goals into weekly tasks, actions that you need to take. You're going to get into the habit into looking at your one goal at a time, looking at one thing at a time and putting all the energy and effort into that to reach your goals, to achieve what you want to achieve in 2019. So 90 days and that's all you need. So go ahead and start doing that immediately. Now, this strategies that I just shared with you, it's not like I've created them, okay? I, I've studied a lot of um, to-do list things, the getting things done, uh, the RPM with Tony Robbins. You know, I've looked at a lot of things. And one of my favorite things right now, 
that has helped me to break this down is a little Kindle book out there by one of my good friends, Karma Sangi. See what happens is, let me show you, let me share it with you actually. Um, he's got this book called the three by three productivity method and why I like it here. Let me show you. There it is. Okay. Three by three productivity method. And why I like this is because it taught me to focus on three things at a time, breaking it down just like I showed you, but it goes more into a little bit more detail. There's more to it. And I don't want to overwhelm you with the information, but what I'd like you to do is go get it. It's Kindle. You can download it in your app or if you have a Kindle um, uh, like I do, or maybe in your iPad and go get this book in Amazon. All right. It's, it's, uh, either if you have unlimited Kindle, you can get it actually right uh, automatically, or it's nine 99 to get it, but it's worth your time and investment because it shows you how to be productive with a very, very simple approach and focus on what matters most. I'm telling you, go take a look at it. I'll put the link so you'll know exactly where to go in uh, Amazon and get that. Cool. That's how I do things. That's what I'd like to share with you. So remember, if you're here today, I would like you, I would like to invite you to subscribe to my channel, right? Uh, go ahead and like my page. If you like this information, do me a favor, share it. I know someone needs to hear this information, especially at the beginning of this year. And if you want to know more about me, you can always go to my website at eddysand.com. All right, then till next time, peace. Subscribe, like, subscribe, do all that cool stuff here. I appreciate that.